probably seen my plane spotting videos, whether it was the first one way back in 2020 or my most recent just a few days ago. But what you may not know is RDU didn't start out as an international airport. No, instead it was pretty much the opposite. So climb aboard and enjoy the ride as I tell you all about the history of my favorite airport. Raleigh Durham International Airport, or RDU, opened in 1929 as a small municipal airfield near Raleigh. Besides Charlotte, it was pretty much the only actual airport in North Carolina at the time. With it being so popular, it was eventually outgrown and in 1939, the North Carolina General Assembly decided to build a new, larger airport in a small town called Morrisville, which is between the two largest cities in the Research Triangle, Durham and Raleigh. The proposed airport was quickly becoming popular over time, and when it finally opened in 1943, its main operator was Eastern Airlines. Eastern liked it so much that they decided to make it a stop along their popular New York to Miami route. The airport had two main runways. I don't know their numbers, but I know one runway ran diagonally inside of the other. Interestingly enough, even though it now uses two much larger runways parallel to each other with the terminals in between, one of the old runways is still in use for civil aircraft, and even though the other isn't used anymore, it's still there. Anyways, back to the main information. As of 1957, the airport had grown immensely with daily flights from three major airlines, Eastern, Piedmont, where I got my channel name, and Capital. In 1961, Capital Airlines was taken over by United, and now United is pretty much the only original airline that still operates at RDU, since Eastern and Piedmont both ended up merging with bigger airlines or going bankrupt. Or, well, both. But things got official in 1965. A few years earlier, the newly formed company Boeing had developed one of the first jet aircraft, the Boeing 727. The 727 made its first official flight to RDU in 1965, operating with Eastern Airlines. Things didn't stop there, in fact, they pretty much haven't stopped since. The airport got even bigger in 1979 when Allegheny Airlines started service there, then joined by American, TWA, Pan Am, and more. Things took off even further in 1987 when American Airlines built the first official large-scale terminal at RDU, making it a hub for many airlines, but specifically a hub for American. In 1987, American added the first international services to London and Paris, which are still operating today, but Delta has taken over the Paris route. But then, it seemed the airport had already peaked. In the 90s, American Airlines had hub competition from US Air and Charlotte, and even though Continental didn't last long, they had comp competition from them at Greensboro Airport. American even thought about closing their hub at Raleigh-Durham, and eventually, they did in 1995, although they still operated there. It seemed as though all hope was lost for RDU until its savior came soon after American's closure in 1995. Midway Airlines had taken over service at RDU, and it seemed that RDU was back on its feet again. But once again, we learned everything comes with a price. Following the attacks on September 11th, Midway suspended services and eventually filed for bankruptcy in 2003, leaving RDU in the dust. But, fortunately, it's not over yet. The 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s are bringing possibly the biggest growth yet to RDU. Many more airlines have started service at RDU, including Southwest, Allegiant Air, Frontier, Iceland Air, and more. Though it had much traffic, the terminal hadn't been restored in ages and was in dying need of repairs. So both terminals were rebuilt, and the first one opened in 2011, which we now know as Terminal 2, which holds most of the flights. And after that, in 2013, Terminal 1 was finished, which holds just Southwest. And after that, airline traffic picked up even further. I'm not going to explain all the fine details, and RDU has been expanding ever since. But 
well, what's to come for the airport? Well, RDU recently released their Vision 2040 plan. What they want to do with the airport is add on to both terminals, adding more gates and amenities for passengers. They're also going to expand the main runway, 25 right slash 5 left, allowing more international flights and expand the main UPS and FedEx cargo terminals as well. The future looks bright for RDU, and I'm excited to see what they can do with it. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, and happy holidays.